Family Congressman, thank you so much for being here tonight. So first, just your reaction to the FBI calling what we can read in black and white for ourselves conspiracy theories. First of all, if this is business as usual, then God help us. I don't believe the American people are as dumb as the FBI think they are. I also question why is it against the law to lie to the FBI, but it's okay for the FBI to lie to the American people. And that's what we've seen this week with these statements that came out on Wednesday. It is astronomically surprising and insulting to the American people that the FBI would say this is business as usual, the way they have colluded with big tech, the way they have... Uh, been in bed with Twitter and with Facebook and been able to do it without any pressure from Congress. Uh, Leader uh, McCarthy today in, in his remarks outlined that. I don't understand how any senator on the Republican side could go along with this bill. It should not have passed today. And unfortunately, we'll, uh, we'll be dealing with this uh, for the next few months while this funding continues before Republicans take over in a few weeks. So you say the Republicans say that things are changing when they're going to be in charge of these committees in the House. You've been investigating the Biden family and, and the lies that they've told about the relationship between Hunter Biden and his, his father when it comes to their foreign business dealings. So what exactly is the plan here? Well, I think on day one, as soon as we uh, we get organized, as soon as committees are set, you're going to see action from the House Oversight and House Judiciary. What you've seen for the last four years is Jerry Nadler running the show. You'll see Jim Jordan running House Judiciary. I think it will be a wonderful change. We'll finally be able to compel uh, members of the FBI to testify. We'll be able to compel uh, members of the big tech community to testify. We'll be able to subpoena them, things that we've not been able to do. Big tech has run around this nation and did whatever they please without any oversight from Congress. Another thing that I'm very looking forward to, very much looking forward to, is seeing House Republicans do the job that the mainstream media has failed to do for the last four to six years. They have refused to hold big tech accountable. They refuse to talk about the Hunter Biden laptop. And unfortunately, we've come to the point where House Republicans are now having to do the job of the mainstream media come January and hold uh, these groups accountable, hold the FBI mm -hmm. accountable, and do what what our press should have been doing all along. We, we were supposed to have a free press in this country, uh, but they've been co-opted by big tech, by uh, the mainstream uh, yep. media, by the far left, and the FBI's been in bed from day one. So, so you mentioned Congressman Jim Jordan, who will be the committee chair for the Judiciary Committee. He actually sent a letter today to FBI Director Christopher Wray asking for him to produce a number of documents. It's kind of a, we're asking nicely before we send you some subpoenas. So is the goal to investigate the FBI and rein in uh, federal law enforcement? Is it to try and regulate big tech? Do you have more authority to regulate federal law enforcement than you would to regulate private businesses, private industry? The answer is yes to all of that. There's been nothing for the last four years with Democrats controlling the House. We've been unable to hold hearings. The Democrats have run the show. You've seen uh, Jerry Nadler doing as he pleases. We've, we've not been able to compel any witness to testify. Having the subpoena power, having control of the purse strings for the first time uh, since the first two years of Donald Trump's presidency will be a big change for the American people. We intend to hold the FBI accountable. We intend to hold big tech accountable. And the American people expect that. We've all campaigned on that. We got elected in November. We won the majority as slim as it may be. And the American people expect Republicans to, to, to deliver. I expect us to start that come January. We're only a few weeks away. As bad as the last few days have been for the American people with this massive spending bill, I do believe our best days are yet to come. And I believe that House Republicans will begin delivering for the American people very soon. And the American people will be very pleased with what they see. And if you're a member of FBI leadership or big tech, then get ready. Yeah, Republicans have made a lot of big promises about accountability, so we will definitely be closely watching to see what happens. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.